Pounds. What else have they got? Just got this nice pillar jumper. The camera is not doing it any justice at all, to be honest with you. But it is uh, fourteen pounds. That's twenty-two pounds. It's a nice little card, green mail card again. There. How much is that? Ten pounds. That's cute. Isn't it, babes? Just gonna have a look at this. Any dressing gowns? Oh, look at these! I love Rudolph. I think these are your sizes, are they? No, they're not. Seven to eight. Your sizes will be up further now, babe. They're cute. Got Mickey Mouse for twelve pounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're cute, isn't they, babes? Rudolph, and they're twelve pounds through to four. Is it a double one? They're nice, aren't they? Oh, babe, I think they got dressing gowns as well. <gasps> That's a nice dressing gown. Do you like it? I'll take it. It's two to three, though. I do have to get you. There's no three to four, babe. I'd have to get you four to five because we don't mind if it's too big, do we? What do you reckon? <gasps> Merry crew we got on going there. Pajamas. What one do you want? Should we get that one but in a bigger size? That's not your size anymore, Baba. That's a baby size. Do you like those pajamas? No. You don't? <laughs> Right, let's have a look what they got up here, shall we? They haven't got many sizes. They got for the baby. Oh, that's cute. Oh, nearly sold out, babe. And they're cute, aren't they? Look at them. They're cute. No, that's mummy size, that is. We'll have to look for you in a minute up there. They're cute little socks, look. £4.50. I need pyjamas, babe, so I? Over there, do you? The Rudolph ones? No? Right, should we go and have a look at your stuff up here? Yeah. Yeah? And then we'll have a look at Mummy's pyjamas, is it? Yeah. Yeah? Like all your stuff's up here, babes. Got some shoes. I have to see what Santa brings, my girl. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Overhear your stuff. to you. Put them in then. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
something for those. Like books and books and children. 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 Mask. How much is the princess? The this one. Oh, by you. <laughs> what was it? The princess. You just pointed oh, that out. Oh, sorry. Uh, 24. 24. <laughs> and there was the beast. No, I haven't got it. Half will have it. Half will have it as well. Can I purchase some oil from you as well to put some oil in my car? Uh, yeah. Oh, I mean, you've got some. What's that? Sorry. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. I don't mind paying. Just behind this. Drive around there, is it? Thank you. What's that? Yeah. I'll put in the car, okay? And then we're going to go and see if that. It's all right. We've got some oil. No, it's all right. There was like a message popping up about the oil. There was a message popping up about the oil. And it caught me out before. I had to have work on it before I get to it. Okay, so he charged me £10 in the end to um, to do put the oil in the car. And the cap was, was broken. So I would much rather pay £10 and not have the the stress, to be honest. A funeral car just went past with a coffin and it's it's horrible because you're getting on with your day and don't get me wrong you think of them every day but you get on with life obviously being a mum and just get on you just get on with your life don't you there's nothing else you can do but get on with your life but then moments like that when it hits you and it takes every it's everything inside you that just wants them back it's just a strong feeling that you miss their personality i miss how how he was with the kids and I just miss him so much and it's hard because then after having these emotions that hits that you miss that person I miss my gramp you literally just got to get on with it I've got to go now and get on with my week get on with my day there's nothing else you can do that's the hard thing about grief when it hits you and you have this strong feeling inside of you that you literally want to see him. I wish now I could drive to my Nana Gramps and he'd be sat there and him um, him now obviously have that banter and wind up Marla and I just, I crave that in my day to day. I really wish I had that. Obviously I'm going to see my dad now and my sister, my niece and i got a family day ahead but it's just an overwhelming feeling that could just hit you at any point. It's, um, it's hard and then yeah you've just got to get on with your day to day now and just put it to the back of your mind and just switch off from it. Um, you know, it's, yeah I'll always share my thoughts on this channel. Life lessons and things like that. So um, 